Hello everybody, Christy Esais here. Today I want to talk to you about the top 10 cities surrounding the Phoenix metro area that have the most affordable housing prices. So before we get started, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course the notification bell so that you get notified of all of my future drops. So here we go. Number one is going to be Glendale, Arizona. Now Glendale has a population of about 240,000 people. It's a very large, like spread out city and it has a ton to offer. Now of course they have the Cardinal Stadium, they have the Gila River Arena, they have Westgate Entertainment District, of course. They also have like a really neat little downtown area with lots of antiquing, lots of historic stuff. So there's, you can pretty much find whatever you need in the Glendale area. Um, and their livability score there is a 71, so not bad at all. But if you were to look at buying a new home in that area, you're gonna start with average pricing is going to be like in the 300s, probably low 300s starting price if you were to buy a new home in that area. So definitely not bad. Obviously, if you look on an average scale across, across the nation, 300,000 really isn't that bad. And especially if you're moving from California, which lots of you are, 300,000 for a brand new home as a base, you know, starting price, really not that bad. So number one, Glendale. Number two is going to be Surprise, Arizona. Now Surprise has a population of about 130,000. Its livability score is about a 78, definitely awesome. And it's actually the second fastest growing suburb in the Phoenix metro area, kind of right behind Gilbert. Now Gilbert is a lot more expensive, but Surprise is gaining popularity just very, very highly sought after city and community because of the housing prices, the community, the neighborhoods, and things of that nature. Now, if you were to buy a new home in the Surprise area, you can expect you know, to start right around that 270-ish price point and obviously going up from there. But still, under 300,000, you can definitely find a really nice house, whether it be new or resale, and it's a great place to live. So number two, Surprise, Arizona. Number three is going to be Buckeye. Buckeye has a population of about 60,000 people right now. And in 2017 and 2018, it was the fastest growing city in the entire nation. Now that's slowed a little bit, but if you ask me, I still think it is. Definitely tons of people seeking Buckeye. It's great because it's on the very west side of, Buc of Phoenix. And so a lot of people coming from California love that because there's still easy access to get back and forth to California. And cost of living is super affordable there. You're right at the base of the White Tank Mountains and it's gorgeous and you have everything you need right there. If you were to buy a new home in that area, new homes are starting around the 270 price point, kind of the same as Surprise. Now, obviously you can get cheaper homes um, and you can get more expensive homes, but on an average, if you were to buy a new home, you're looking at about 270,000 plus to do so. So Buckeye, number three. Number four is going to be Apache Junction. Now Apache Junction is actually on the east side of the Phoenix metro area and it's way on that far east side. So kind of where Buckeye is on the west side, Apache Junction's on the way opposite side of the valley. And it's gorgeous out there. You're going to have absolutely breathtaking views out there. It's beautiful. Um, and the population out there is only about 41,000 people. Um, your livability score is going to be a 75. Still awesome. And now as far as housing prices out there, if you were to buy a brand new home in the Apache Junction area, you're looking at starting in the high 200,000s. Now, obviously there's more affordable housing and there's more expensive housing. As usual, I am using the new home pricing as kind of an average to help keep everything kind of on across the same board. So Apache Junction, number four. Number five is going to be the city of Maricopa. Now Maricopa is about 40 minutes south of the downtown Phoenix area. And it's actually on the, right on the border of the Gila River Indian Reservation. Very beautiful out there. Uh, Maricopa has become increasingly popular over the last probably 12 months. And that's due to the fact that um, it's within about 20 to 30 minutes to the Chandler area. And Chandler has been a very, very popular suburb of the Phoenix metro area. But obviously housing prices have been, you know, a lot higher than what you can buy in Maricopa. The city of Maricopa is only about 45,000 people. It has a livability score of about 76, so pretty good. Um, and you can buy a brand new home in the Maricopa area starting around 250,000. So definitely worth taking a look at if you're, you know, maybe you're relocating and you have a job in the Tempe or the Chandler area. Very easy drive, very easy commute, and it's a 
decent place to live. So number five, Maricopa. Number six is actually going to be the city of El Mirage. Now, El Mirage is great, or let those little boundaries around El Mirage are great if you are stationed at Luke Air Force Base, things like that. It's literally right next to Luke Air Force Base. And Luke is actually the largest fighter jet training facility in the nation. And so we have tons of you know military families in and out of that area, but definitely uh, a great place to live as far as being super close to everything that you need as, as well as base if you're in the military. Uh, livability score is about a 71, not bad. Um, and the population in El Mirage is about 34,000 people. Now there's not a ton of new construction going in that area. Now there was one community and it sold out so fast. But there's little smaller uh, builders popping up communities in that city. So there's a little bit going on there, but um, otherwise you're right next door to Glendale um, and surprise, you're right smack dab in the middle. So if you're looking at new homes in that El Mirage area, you're gonna be in the low 300s on average, but definitely a great place and right in the middle of our 10 list. So El Mirage, number six. Number seven is going to be Florence. We always call this, you know, the prison city because Florence has 13 prisons in the city. Now that's state, city, and federal prisons. I'm sorry, state, county, and federal prisons all in Florence. So if you are a corrections officer or things of that nature, you might want to live in Florence. You have great job opportunities there. The livability score there is 73. Uh, population is about 26,000 people. So it's kind of on that southeast corridor of the Phoenix metro area and is growing in popularity largely in part because you can get a brand new home super affordable out there. Uh, you can, it used to be the low 200s, but in the last you know eight to 10 months, we've seen a huge jump in pricing here in the Phoenix area. So you're probably in the mid 200s right now for uh, a new home on average as a base, uh, as a starting point. So uh, Florence makes our list at number seven. Number eight is going to be Casa Grande. Now Casa Grande is about an hour southeast-ish of the Phoenix metro area. It's a big city of its own. Um, it's, it's really a great city. The uh, average housing price in Casa Grande is going to be, you know, your mid 200s for brand new. Now. I have had a lot of people actually flocking to the Casa Grande area because you can get so much more home for that. It's really a great place to live. There's lots going on there. So Casa Grande makes our list at number eight. Number nine is actually going to be Coolidge. Coolidge isn't too far from Florence and that also is growing in popularity largely in part because of the housing prices. You know, everything's kind of migrating on the outskirts. Now Coolidge population is about 12,000 people. You're only about 56 miles southeast of Phoenix and livability score is a little bit lower. There's not as much going on in that area, but it's up and coming. You're at about a 64 on the livability scale. Um, your housing prices are going to start right around 200,000 um, and can go up from there, but not bad, especially if you're uh, retired, looking for affordable cost of living. Coolidge is definitely something to consider. So that makes number nine. Last but not least, our number 10 on our list is going to be Wickenburg. Now Wickenburg is in the West Valley. It's just west of Surprise off of the 60 freeway. Now let's just say you live in the Phoenix area and you're headed out to go to the Las Vegas area. You're gonna go right through Wickenburg. Now Wickenburg is a small little Western town that has kind of become very increasingly popular over the last year. And population is only about 6,000 people. It's a smaller town. Uh, livability score is about 68, uh, but it's really a cute little town. And you can buy manufactured homes out there on your own land for as low as 200,000, like new manufactured homes. Now, if you're looking for a tract builder uh, out there, you know, somebody who's a mass productive, higher name, you know, corporation, you're probably looking in the mid 200s. But like I said, new manufactured home on some land right around 200,000. Of course, you can go up. I've got custom builders at 400,000 or more out there, but it's kind of nice. You can kind of get all of your price points in that area. And Wickenburg is only about, um, I don't know, I'd say 30 minutes from that surprise area uh, in that western border of Glendale. You're about 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes from there. So it's really not a bad drive. A lot of people like living out there just for the peace and the serene part of, of living out there. So. That 
does it for our list of 10 most affordable cities to purchase a home in Arizona or the Phoenix metro area rather. So if any of you would like to have additional information, feel free to reach out to me. I do this every single day. I love helping people move into the state and this is what I do. So feel free to reach out. All of my contact information will be listed below, below and I look forward to talking to you guys next time. Take care. <laughs>